Yo, <laughs> that boy Swizenberg, crazy. Somebody open the door, they get shot. It's not me. I don't know who's shooting. Fuck out. What's good? It's your boy Shane Swizenberg, and we are jumping back into Breaking Bad, episode six of season four. Last episode, my guy Hank got a tip on Los Pollos Hermanos. So my guy Gus might be at risk coming up this episode. That guy Hank is one of a kind and I think this is gonna be the start of the downfall for Walt and the operation. So can't wait to jump into episode six. We're gonna be closing in on finishing the series. One more season to go after this one. But make sure you guys head over to the Patreon, like I said, tons of content, uncut reactions, exclusives that aren't making it over to YouTube. So stop missing out and head over to the Patreon and sub up. But without further ado, let's jump back into Breaking Bad. Let's get it. No, 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 no! Artel is really going after him like this. Oh. You about to put about to flame gas them be. boys out? They gotta come out. Bro, you know how hard that John's running right now? I'm about to They're blow cooked. up. You gotta remember, he put all his uh, shit in there. In those sauces yeah. or that chicken batter. That's a big ass bag. <laughs> That's a terrible way to die, bro. But he already made sure they pa <clears throat> they passed that little test. Yeah. He put one of them on there. He did all that from one bucket. Stuff that came up. I, I just wanted to say that I, I was thinking about you and, and the kids, and uh, I love you. Go right back in the crib. Huh? Back in the crib. You shouldn't have let me sleep. You needed it. Kyle, I don't entirely remember what happened last night. I mean, I might have said some things. That... Did you know this Gail Bedeker person? Hey, they was drunk last night. Can't even focus on huh? Gail Bedeker. What exactly did I say last night? Just enough. Who killed him? Was it the people you work for? Definitely not. Was it somebody who, at some point, might want to do the same to you? Jesse? I think I know what happened last night, Walt. Mm, I know exactly what happened last night. I drank too much wine. You told Hank the man he was looking for might still be out there, wondering why you would say that to him. Because mm, I was drunk, Skyler. No, but then, but then I was remembering your black eye. Church and state. That's how we need to approach this thing. Not if it's putting them at risk. And then I remembered the message you left me the other day. That message was some kind of goodbye. No. I think last night was a cry for help. Oh, Jesus. I think some part of you wants Hank to catch you. That's a fact. If he caught you, at least this ah. would all be over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a, a tremendous weight just lifted off of me. Now I, I understand myself. You are in danger. We go to the police. Oh, no, I don't want to hear about the I police. I do not say that lightly. The You're police. not some hardened criminal, Walt. A school teacher, cancer, desperate for money. Okay, we're done here. Roped into working for, unable to even quit. Let's both of us stop trying to justify this whole. It's but he, she not lying though. Who are you talking to right now? I'm not talking to Walt. Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? It ceases to exist without me. No, I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. Yo! <laughs> that boy Swizenberg, crazy. Somebody open the door, they get shot. It's not me. I don't know who's shooting. Fucking out. 
The way that boy turned that on, all oh, he's scared. I know that. But he just he said all that so she wouldn't be scared. But he not lying, lying though. The man who not does not walk. That's the Grim Reap. That's that boy walk. And, and if it ain't walk, he got something to do with it. You send that boy. Unless Jessica. he getting pushed to the edge, he won't do anything like that. He's not like the brothers that actually just go out to do stuff like that. And where is your pretty wife? She has other business to attend to. Like I say to her, place sells as is. I mean, them boys just left everything all over the place. Coming back with more demands. She, she gave me hard time when we settled on price. We're all on the same page, Bogdan. That's so crazy how life changed. I know you think I was hard on you, but you learn. Being in charge is not easy. The real important thing, and not everyone knows this, is, is to be tough. Boss has to be tough. Has to make cashiers wipe down cars, even if they don't want to. Mm. Can you be tough, Walter? I'm sure you can handle. And if not, you can always call your wife. Huh? Yo, yeah, well, some bringing up my shorty if I knock you out here. Who'd have thought that someday I would be handing these keys to you? Man, they took his business from me. That's crazy. But that boy stayed there and work. Many years. Almost forgot. It's the first dollar he made there. Damn, that's tough. Bogdan. As is. Oh shit, that's my shit now. Now nah, walk crazy for that. That boy take his dollar bill, yo. I'm burning that shit down now that he did that. Yo, he full highs and he's scary, bro. That boy look. That boy broken about to spend that dollar. That's disrespectful right there. Oh, man, shaking. I don't think he's done drugs in a little while. You okay there? I'm fine. It's not, not using his. Eat something. I fuck with Mike. I feel like this is gonna bring Mike so close to Jesse, though. See, that boy is his son. I'm on my way. You need any help? No. I wanted to keep busy. You just gonna leave him where my man's supposed to go? We're supposed to go to the crib. Scarlet still ain't come. She had the Benicky crib? You want me to call her back? What exactly did she say? I mean, exactly. She asked if I was okay and not to worry. Like that. It's it's about the gambling, right? She can't understand. It, it It's not like you're doing this on purpose. You can't help it. it it's like you're an alcoholic, right? No, it's not. Not at all. Yes, it is. I, I read online. She's not even allowed to be mad at you. What is going on with me is not about some disease. It's about choices. Choices that I have made. Choices I stand by. Okay, oh, mad at Flint for it. He don't know what the fuck going on. Why don't we take a little detour? Oh, he about to buy him a car. He did say for a 16. He ordered a 16. I I think if you're going to buy me off. I need something nice in there. Buy me off. Yo! <laughs> 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 you can't be doing this though, bro. That was so stupid. Room, room, get in my car. Let's you go for a ride. Have... Get in my car. When he pull up and Hank see that, he gonna be he gonna start Hank to... knows. That's bro. that gambling. He's Skyler got... about to be mad. Even though he told him that story, Hank is still gonna be watching him mad close after getting Flynn that car out on a whim. Come here. Bro, just go to work. Update. update on what? An update on these little field trips that you've been taking with Mike. Pick up money, check on things, stuff like that. 
I said I guarded him. Like backup, like a second set of eyes. Everybody needs backup, right? It has to be Jesse Pinkman. Why? What, is there something about you that I don't know? Are you a former Navy SEAL? <laughs> Yo. And I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm just trying to make you see things clearly. I see they can't outright kill me, but they don't want me getting high. I see this thing probably started as Gus getting Mike to babysit me. I saved Mike from getting robbed. Even killed, maybe. So maybe I'm not such a loser after all. You shit, Jesse. Go clock in, man. Rubber nothing on top of your head. Oh, it's just a setup. What? what? If this robbery that you stopped wasn't even real. Your first day out guarding Mike, he steps out for one second, and what happens? You immediately get robbed. You're such an asshole. Keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. How long do those guys chase you, huh? Because the way you describe it, they gave up pretty damn easy. No, no, this... Boy, so deranged. It's all about me. Boy's ego is so crazy. But he's not lying, though. Yeah, he not lying. Though. If they really wanted to get on Jesse, they'd have been banging the back of his wheel. They hit him with that little cop, sh cop maneuver shit. Hit Manoni. I didn't even know there was a phone down there. That's going to be a call for Jesse. Yeah. I'll be right up. What? You got to go. What? Am, am I supposed to clean all this on my own? God. Like, call him at the perfect time. Like, this is still going to... Be watching them, though. So. Yeah, like, call him now. Making that boy a job harder. See, I need help to yeah. clean. Yes, see. Yeah. Comprende? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you cannot bring them down there. Muy bueno, muy bueno. Oh, no, quién sabe. This is all part of his plan. Bring them down there. No, 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 no. Hey, no, 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 once they see that, they can't go back to work. Yeah, he's doing that on purpose. They can't go back to work once they go down there. He gave him a hundred. One for you? Yeah, I see. See, President Grant, very important man. He gave him the dub. No, he gave him 50. He about to take that joint and still not clean. 50. Por favor, por favor. You're going to get more people killed, man. There's more bodies on this man's because did that man's on. decision, bro. He did, that on, he did that on purpose. He cheers to the fucking camera. Walt, now nah, I'm making you kill him. He not. He can't make Walt do anything for real. What, you gonna just kill him? Jesse can't do all that stuff by himself. You gotta kill him. You can start cutting fingers off and shit. Come on, bro. It's not about to work. Cut his finger off and then he go to Hank's crib. Bro, that's why they all intersect. Bureau? What she got going on? Oh, she's about to move? Yeah. She's about to leave Holly there or something? No way she leave Holly there. No, you stupid. She'd be a damn fool to go there. She mean, that's where they are now. New Mexico? Yeah. That was her, like, deciding to stay. She was thinking about leaving. Couple down on the left with the tree in the front. You know, a little birdie told me there's some guys in there that have three pounds of our product, which they're selling, and which they sure as hell didn't get from us. Oh, shit. That's the people that robbed the truck. Mm-hmm. Why don't you just go break the door down just to whip those bitches and show them who's boss? Because we don't work like that. These guys are heavily into the product and most likely are. Now, what you may not know about meth heads, maybe you do, they're kind of unpredictable. I don't care for unpredictable, so we wait. I like the way that boy Mike think. That's what he did for Walt. He sat right outside. I brought sandwiches. Ooh. Menno cheese. How's that sound? I eat that shit, man. Boy's about to see it. Yo, whoa, 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 where are you going? So they're selling, right? Maybe I'm looking to buy. Come on, Jesse, it's not the right move. Tucker! I'm uh, here to buy. Tucker, what are you doing? No, my question. Tucker! Uh, my name 
Who's D Saw? Just looking for a team. Yo, come on. Tucker! Help a brother out. Boy, Jesse, look like a fiend. We don't sell the strangers. Tucker! Get off the porch, asshole. Tucker, you shut the door! All right already, Jesus! Well, they got it. I'm looking for a team. So you buy the. Teens, and then what? What was he about to do? You know, they got that shit for sure, sure. Up the trunk, would you? There's something in there I need. And what would that be? I'm getting those pricks out of that house, but I know meth heads. That is true. See what my boy Jesse got playing my what? That boy need that teeth, no cap. What is this guy about to do? For the break of window. He put the camera on the fucking shove. Got him out the crib. How deep are you going? I don't know. How deep do you think it is? Digging for some common sense. You mind taking over for a minute? Yeah. Sure. Zombie. Oof. What's going on? I'm thinking of China. Mind if I use your John? <laughs> what the fuck is he digging for? Digging to China, right? That's what I thought. Everybody did try to do that before. And oh, if you didn't, God. you see how... You need mans that get together try to dig to China, baby. Yeah, you well, yeah, ain't really live. He wasn't really outside. Oh, that's a trap. That shit probably. Oh. My friend of Tucker's. What do you want? I just, uh, I just wanna, just wanna buy some of the blue. It's not for sale. Tucker needs to learn to keep his damn mouth oh, shut. Are you pointing Tucker! at Sarah? Tucker! Let's go, let's go find Tucker. He gonna shoot Jesse. I don't have enough for you, all right? I don't want to start any trouble. Trouble? Trouble? What's that mean, trouble? No, 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 no. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying we're cool, okay? We're, we're right. You're right. Tucker! The boy Mike was coming in. He's taking too long to crib. But I'm coming to end him. Like you're still digging. What's he digging for? Probably just something that like the mind sickle. Bro, Muchas we drew gracias, out. Gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. I missed that one. I'm sure it was good. Damas. Vengan conmigo. Nosotros vamos a terminar nuestro trabajo. Wait a minute, where are you taking it? I'm putting them on a bus. And that takes them back to Honduras? Hey, wait a second. Wait a minute. This was my idea. Don't punish them. You, you tell Gus to blame me, not them. He does. Damn. See what you did? Now they gotta pack they shit and go. Wow. That's better than him killing them, though. Yeah. But still, bro, you fuck up their lives, yo. Bro, I just need to stay in his own room. That's the friend. Give us a minute, will you? Stand there like the Grim Reap. The crew that hit our truck gave away the cargo to a couple local nobodies, not keeping anything for themselves. It was all about sending a message. Ready to talk? That, I believe, is the English translation. That's the cartel. They know what's going on. But let me hire 10, 15 more good operators. And we hit them back, hit them hard, hit them where they live. This war stays cold for now. What about their message? What's the answer? Set up a meeting. Let's see what they have to say. How did he do today? That boy did excellent. He better put that boy on his, uh, he gonna, shot of payroll. Yeah, he gonna be like, I don't even want you to cook no more. You stay with Mike. I hear you can handle yourself. Hey, excuse me. Why me? I like to think I see things in people. I'm gonna keep it real simple and short. That's what's you so take, scary about You interpret it how you want. You leave that shit up for interpretation for everybody. Stab it. 
put that man out. But this is one of the mistakes she was talking about. Yeah, like, bro, you can't be doing that. That's what I said. I hate her. My shit breaking out. You bought him the motherfucking, yeah? <sighs> so, did you see what's in the driveway? Uh, yeah, I saw. Like, you just bought a business and he bought a new car? So, that that's expensive? <laughs> yeah, dad got it for me. Oh, that was very nice of him. That, that made sure. And I promised to always go the speed limit or below, way below. So dad said I can take you around the block a few times. Is that okay? It, just around the block. Yeah, just around the block. She got that devious voice. When you yeah. walk out, it's time to get it on, walk. It, it's really, it's really great to have you home, mom. <laughs> I don't even know I was about to leave. Just me and Holly. Yeah, Holly, let him know. He better not start bugging out here. I guess we should talk. Well, I think you said plenty the other day. He bugged out two days in a row. He pushing it. Overstated things earlier. And I'm sorry to be so forward. But I, I just, I want you to know something. I want you to, I need you to understand. He is never that scared. You are safe. You, Junior, Holly, you are completely safe. Everything that I do, everything. It's for this family. I do it to protect this family. You can't keep saying that. In that car, that was protecting your family. All right, maybe it's a little flashy, but he needed a car. And... You could have bought him one of them old rundown, John. And I'm his father, and I should be able to get what he wants. It goes back. Oh. Tomorrow. Skylar, it will crush him. That car directly contradicts our story. What do you think the neighbors are going to say, Walt? What about Hank and Marie? How about the IRS? I was thinking that I wanted to do something nice for my son. Damn, because they both right, though. Like, 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 damn. I just worry that he'll blame you for this. Why he do that? Oh, he will. Once again, he'll blame his bitch mother for taking away what his loving father has given him. So, thanks for that. Someone has to protect this family from the man who protects this family. Damn. Now that hit different. Now that hit different. Bro, I knew that was stupid. I don't understand why he did that. Hey, bro, he don't be thinking his fucking decisions through my, like, bro. Who's me standing there like a fucking bag hat? Like a fucking stable? Like, what the fuck did he think was gonna happen? Oh, wait, he wasn't thinking. Then he bought him the nicest John on a lot. Like, he got a better car than you and Skylar. All right, y'all, that was the end of episode six. Breaking Bad season four. Walt and Skylar got some things to work on. Walt needs to be more in tune with that story that they put together and understand. He has to do things that follow that story and follow that plan because if not, things stick out like a sore thumb, like that car. That's what I was saying during the reaction. Like, that was something very stupid to do. He could have easily just bought him that car in a lot and be like, son, I know you want that car, but maybe later down the road we can get this for you. The first car has to be picked from this lot. He didn't even have to get him a car. He didn't have to get him a car, but like, like, he did say you could have waited a year until like the, the profit from the car wash started to like come in but boy just acting on impulse and that's what i was saying i was like anybody looking could be like so he spent this much money on buying that car wash it was like seven hundred thousand basically eight hundred thousand he bought a new car which had to be a hundred which had to be like 60. Nah, like 60 and another sixty thousand on top of that and it's like bro where do you work you don't work like where are you getting this that's what i'm saying like what do you do that's what people are gonna start to ask like how are you getting this money gambling all right so you gamble once and made a million dollars doesn't make any sense you just not spent over 90 percent of your profit like basically 90 80 like come on brother i don't make sense so walt needs to do a better job at sticking to the story paying attention on what he does and not doing anything to make himself or the family stand out Hank is back on the case, very great detective. And like I said, if they would have brought that car around Hank and Marie, Hank is starting to ask questions. Yeah, I'm happy that Skylar made that decision and told him that they needed to take that car back. 
I think Flynn's gonna he I think Flynn don't care as long as he got a car be the main thing like he doesn't really care too much about you know what that's gonna look like but Jesse going through his own things Gus starting to acknowledge him but the cartel is also on their asses so we're gonna see more of them going forward and I think the scenario is gonna get worse and worse and worse for Gus's operations as um as they push with Hank on his tail so it's gonna be a lot of commotion and stuff these next few episodes now that Flynn got that car there's kind of no going back because he got the best car on that lot so it's like if he downgrades I mean it might not be a problem for him because nobody saw him in the car it's different if like your, your mans you took Lewis and them on a ride and then you pop out with the drone and be like damn but uh, it's gonna be hard for Flynn to get over it and like Skyler said she got like somebody got to protect the family from the man that's protecting the family now that head different because Walt is making these irrational decisions and she is you know I mean putting her foot down and no matter how it looks on her and basically like like she said protect the family so I agree with her on that Walt gotta understand like he don't really run shit so like him going down there and like breaking the rules as you can say and bringing those workers down there knowing that they didn't even want to go down there in the first place and then getting them sitting back to Honduras is crazy. Like, you gotta got understand there's consequences to the decisions that he make. Even with him going around trying to figure out what's going on with Jesse, that's cool. But at the end of the day, I see where he's coming from when he says it could be a setup and that it's about him. But at the same time, he's trying to interfere with what they got going on. That's and true. like he said, that's gonna come between him and Jesse at some point. So. Jesse's got to be smart what he's doing. Jesse's doing a good job right now. He's sober. Um, him and Mike are getting along. What he, getting along and like there's ways that Jesse, like he showed this episode, can connect with people that maybe Gus, maybe Mike can't. You know what I mean? So now they got the cartel on a next. They got to be even more in tune with each other and everybody has to be more on the page because if you got any loose screws on any end with Walt, with Jesse, with the new boy Tyrus, with mike whatever it may be it's just gonna make the whole operation that much more vulnerable but if you enjoyed that reaction make sure you like the video comment down below let us know your thoughts or the subscribe button the bell icon so you notify when we drop these videos we appreciate y'all thank y'all for all love and support if you got any questions go ahead and message us man we just appreciate y'all being here with us it means a lot but until the next video the kids react